This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by GoDaddy. What's up, everyone? John Renger from Techno Buffalo here, and welcome back to another episode of Ask the Buffalo. I am a Buffalo. This is a show where you can ask me any question you've got from the ever expanding world of technology. Whether it's got to do about what phone you should get, what tablet's coming out, or ask me any personal questions around how Techno Buffalo works and runs, we try and sort of pull back the veil uh, as much as we can. Uh, this week, we're going to talk a little bit about the best part of my job, the daily drivers that I use and have used whatever the best Android skins or custom UI at this point now are, and some iPhone 6 camera business. This is Ask the Buffalo. Start asking some questions. First question comes from Twitter. User at TechMobReviews asked at john 4 lakers Hi, John. Hi. What is the best part or aspect of your job? Thanks. Hashtag ask the bee. Uh, I still cannot believe every day that phones and tablets get sent to me to check out. I mean, more than I could even review in, in a week we have here. I, that still is like flabbergasting to me. Um, I remember trying to save up every cent I had for my paychecks to try and buy the newest phone, use it for a couple months, and sell it on eBay or Craigslist to buy whatever else came out. It still seems surreal to me that I get a chance to play with all these electronics. Even crazier is that people care about my opinions uh, on this stuff. I just love technology. Uh, sometimes I feel like I'm going to wake up from this dream. Um, that's definitely the best part of my job. Next question comes from the best Twitter handle ever. At any reader of TB asks, Hey John, as a phone reviewer, do you always switch between phones or do you have one daily driver? We're not reviewing phones, that is. And what is the longest you've had one phone for? And do you pay for them yourself or use them as review units? That was a, a lot of questions. Um, so I'm always reviewing a lot of phones and I use each phone that I'm reviewing as my daily driver. So I'm constantly switching phones back and forth. So I very rarely get a chance to just sort of just use one phone, which is kind of a cool problem to have. Uh, but I will say the phones that I've used the longest, uh, I used an iPhone 4 uh, for probably about four and a half to six months. Uh, and then last year I used the HTC One, the M7, uh, for about the same amount of time. So those are probably the two that I've used the longest, and coincidentally probably two of my favorite phones uh, over the past few years. So the one caveat here, sometimes I gotta carry two phones. If I'm using something that doesn't necessarily use a SIM card, if I'm using like an older Verizon phone or a Sprint phone, for example, or anything that really uses a legacy CDMA network, I'll carry two phones. We use AT&T normally for my main account, and I'll have calls forwarded uh, to that device. So sometimes I'll carry two phones, uh, but for the most part it's usually just one. Uh, and 90% of the phones uh, we get from either the carrier, the manufacturer, or the PR agencies. But sometimes we will go out and buy phones that we want to test uh, and review. Most of the phones you know, that we get in, um, we send back, or we'll keep them for a little bit of longer if you do them for comparisons. But eventually, every tester phone we get in uh, goes back to the PR company. So that's just the way it works. We don't get to keep them. So when you get to ask me for free phone because you saw them review it, we don't have them anymore. We just have them for a couple weeks, sometimes a few months, and they go back home. Hopefully that helped answer your question. Let me stop the questions for just a real quick second to thank the peeps at GoDaddy. You already know the name. You know they've got everything you need to put your business on the interwebs. You can find new customers and start kicking butt. Get started by registering a domain name and creating your website with GoDaddy. Super easy to use website builder. If you already got a site, don't sweat it. Keep it running with GoDaddy web hosting. It's time to go. Just visit GoDaddy.com, enter promo code TECHNO30 and get 30% off your new purchase. Again, GoDaddy.com, enter promo code TECHNO30 and you get 30% off, which is pretty sweet. Check them out. Next one comes from at Tim9789 at Techno Buffalo. Which Android OEM skin, touch with sense, etc., do you think is best or easiest to use? That's one super easy to me. Uh, when I did a comparison of the HTC One versus the Galaxy S5, I talked about that quite a bit. I am not a fan of, of modern UI or touch whiz, whatever you want to call it. I think it's very busy, uh, it's too cartoonish, and there are way too many features that sort of convolute the experience. Um, so having said that, there are a few features that I really like, um, but if I had to pick one of them, I really liked what HTC has done since. Uh, I think I'll still prefer a naked Android, but I think HTC took the approach of only adding features they thought you'd really use, whereas Samsung took the approach of really adding every feature you might possibly use, and hopefully one or two you're going to use pretty regularly. Uh, I think it's more elegant on HTC's design. I think Samsung added a lot more features. You should kind of weigh those two against each other. If you like the feature side, or you want sort of a more elegant experience, it's, it's kind of up to you. But at least for me, uh, I really prefer what HTC has done. Next question comes from Joe Cower CBJ at John Four Lakers. Hi, John. Do you think the iPhone 6 is going to have more megapixels than the iPhone 5S? Yes. 
Yes, for sure it will. iPhone 5S has eight. I'd expect the iPhone 6 to have 12 to 13 megapixels. So a lot more megapixels, five megapixels more, six megapixels more, many, many more megapixels. So you could zoom in and crop way more than you could have before. We'll see some sort of image stabilization uh, improvement uh, in the iPhone as well. I think obviously a bigger screen size and iOS 8. But I think the camera is going to be a really big feature they try and bring home. So hopefully that helped answer your question. Thank you guys for watching another episode of Ask the Buffalo. I love doing these shows. If you want to get a question featured, you can do so every Tuesday on technobuffalo.com. We'll put up an article saying leave your question in the comments and you just obviously leave your questions in the comments. Uh, otherwise, you can send them to me on Twitter or uh, the company at Techno Buffalo. I'm at John Four Lakers. Ask the question. I uh, use hashtag Ask the Beef so I know what it's for. Uh, we'll feature a couple of questions uh, every show. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Till next time, I'm John Rettinger. See you guys next video. What's up, everyone? Thank you for watching that video. If you want to see more of the latest and greatest tech news, you can subscribe to our main Techno Buffalo channel by clicking the button right down below in my pants region, or click on the buttons to your right to see more videos.